Hello year two and welcome to day three of English. Okay, so yesterday we had a go at speed writing all our spellings to see how quick we could do them. So today, before we start our main English input, we're going to have a go. Can you beat yesterday's time? Okay, so pause the video and off you go. Okay, so hopefully you beat yesterday's time. If not, keep practicing because you will get there. Okay, let's move on to the main part of our English lesson today. Have a look at this picture. What do you think it is? Pause the video and have a chat by the by yourself or with a grown up or an older brother or sister or a younger brother or sister about what you think this might be. Okay, so it's a newly discovered planet called Blazing. Okay, then we're going to have a look. What can you tell me about the appearance of Blazing? So you're going to pause the video in a minute and you're going to talk about the appearance of Blazing. And remember, the word appearance means what it looks like. So pause the video and have a couple of minutes describing what it looks like. You can either just talk about it, or if it helps you, you could write some words down that would help you to describe it. Okay, hopefully you came up with lots of amazing words. I would say it's a sphere shape. Okay, it's got lots of cracks in it. It looks like bits of fire. Um, it looks like it could be hot. And then one of the other questions is, what temperature do you think it is? Okay. Do you think it's going to be hot on that planet or do you think it's going to be cold? So pause the video and have a think. Sorry about that. Martha's just pooping her head in to come and see what's happening. She wants to have a look as well. Come on up then. OK. All right. Be quiet then. So what temperature do you think it is? So pause the video and think, what do you think the temperature is going to be like on that planet? Okay, Martha, what do you think it will be like? Hot. You think it will be hot. Why do you think it will be hot? Because it looks like lava. Oh, so Martha said she thinks it's going to be hot because it looks like she can see some lava on it. Okay, next question. What do you think it's made of? So again, pause the video, have a think. What do you think that planet could be made of? Okay, you might have a different idea to Martha. Or maybe you've got the same idea. Okay, so what do you think it's made of? Martha, what do you think it's made of? Rocks, lava and fire. Rock, and steam. Rocks, lava, fire and steam are what Martha thinks it's made of. I wonder what you thought it was made of. Okay, our next question. Well, this is an interesting question. What do you think lives on that planet? Do you think there's lots of different aliens or what do you think lives on that planet? Pause the video and have a think about what you think lives on that planet. Okay, any ideas, Martha? What do you think lives on that planet? Um, nobody or an astronaut came to live on it because he didn't because he wanted to see space but then his space rocket was broken he had no oil so then he had to live on it oh so martha thinks that maybe an astronaut got stranded on that planet or maybe nobody lives on that planet because it is very hot okay i wonder what exciting ideas you came up with okay our last question that we're going to think about is where in space do you think it is do you think it's near to the sun or do you think it's a long way from the sun? Okay, just pause the video for a second and have a think about where you think it is in space. Okay, Martha, where do you think it is in space? Medium to the sun. So not that far, not too far from the sun, but not too close to the sun. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you think it might be near another planet? I think it might be in circles or a line. Oh, and it might be near Jupiter or Saturn. Or uh, our moon, or the moon. It might be near the moon. I wonder what you thought of. Okay, now Earth. it could be near Earth. Right now, be quiet. Okay, so 
I have written some information about planet blazing, okay? And I've started with the title because it's really important that we put the title at the top and we put the title in the middle of the top line, okay? So it says planet blazing. And then underneath that, you have an introductory sentence. So just to introduce what you are going to be talking about. So it says, astrologists have discovered a new planet. It hadn't been found before because it was blocked by other planets. Read more to find out what we know so far. Okay, then I've written, what does it look like? And this is a subheading. And a subheading is not as important as the title, but subheadings split up the information into different categories because we've got what does it look like, what is it made of, where would you find it, and what lives there. Okay, so when we split things up and we use subheadings, we will then, when it says what is it made of, I won't put any information about who lives there because that doesn't go under that subheading. It goes in a different subheading. So my first subheading is what does it look like? It says blazing is often called the fire planet because of its colour. When you look at it, you can see dark burnt patches and rivers of burning glowing orange. It doesn't look smooth because of all the cracks. Then my next subheading is what is it made of? And when I'm putting my next subheading, and you see I go back to the side of the page I write my subheading and I underline it, and I underline it with a ruler. So what is it made of? Blazing's surface is made up of hard rock and Blazing's core is made of scorching lava that is constantly trying to escape. The temperature is over 100 degrees, so it is really, really hot. Okay, where would you find it? Is my next subheading. You will find blazing in between Mars and Jupiter and it is often orbiting close to one of Jupiter's moons. My next subheading is what lives there? Scientists haven't yet found anything that lives on the planet. Neither plants or animals could survive the hot temperatures. Astronauts can't even land a space shuttle on the surface because it would begin to melt. Oh my goodness. And then it says, did you know, so this is our amazing fact at the end, Blazing's year lasts 685 days. So our, our planet Earth's year lasts 365 days, but Blazing's year lasts 685 days. And then it says, did you know, planet Blazing is smaller than any other planet. You might be wondering as well, all these words that I've circled in purple, why have I done that? That's because they're words that are specific to what we are looking at. So specific to, we're looking at planets and space. And it might be words that we don't know what they mean yet. So we've got the word surface. We've got the word orbiting. We've got the word moons planet, astronauts, and then we've got the word surface again. So we've just circled those to see if we know what they mean. And if, they, if we don't know what they mean, we could ask a grown up or we could look in a dictionary. Okay, here is another new planet. It's called Planet Rocky Glow. I think I might know why it's called Planet Rocky Glow. Because look, it does glow a lot. And then here we go. I have written some more information about Planet Rocky Glow. This is my information fact file that tells me all about Planet Rocky Glow. So, can you remember what this was called? This was called the title. And the title goes at the top of our information fact file and it goes in the middle of the line. Then it says, there has been an amazing new discovery of a new planet. It hadn't been seen before because telescopes 
had looked straight through it and missed it. Okay, that, with an arrow here, is asking you, what was this part called? Can anybody remember? It was called the introductory sentence. So a sentence to introduce you to the information about planet Rocky Glow. And then here it says, what does it look like? And that's our first subheading. Okay, and we put our subheading here and then we underline it. And it says the outer parts of Rocky Glow is completely transparent. Okay, and anybody remember what the word transparent means? We learnt about it when we were doing our materials work. It means it's see-through. It is a perfect spherical shape. So it means it's a sphere shaped like a ball and it doesn't have any rough edges. The middle of the planet gives off some bright purple light and some white smoke or air. Wow, it sounds a very exciting planet. So that's what it looks like. Then my next subheading is what is it made of? Okay, so you're going to write the subheading, what is it made of, and underline it. Rocky Glow's surface is unusual because it is made up of glass. Its core is made up of some strange rock formations that seem to be growing. Scientists aren't sure of the temperature as it seems to be changing. Wow. Okay. Now, you can see already we've got some words that are circled. And that is because they are the subject specific vocabulary. So, words that are just to do with space and planets. So, you underline them or you circle them because you might need to find out what they mean if you don't already. Okay, the next subheading where would you find it? You will find rocky planet planet Rocky Glow next to the Earth's moon and it will often seem to disappear behind it. Wow, what an interesting planet. Our next subheading says what lives there? Astrologists have started to see the development of grass and other green plants. They don't know if these will continue to survive and still wouldn't want to explore themselves without an oxygen tank. And then our amazing facts at the end. Did you know Rocky Glow's year lasts only 50 days? Oh my goodness, a whole a year doesn't last very long on this planet. And then our other amazing fact, did you know Rocky Glow is the same size as the moon? Fantastic. So we talked about the arrows here. We know this is called the title. The words that we have circled, they are the subject specific vocabulary. So the vocabulary just to do with planets and space. And the word, the sentences that are written and underlined are called the subheadings. At the bottom, we've got our interesting facts. Lots of information on one page. Okay, so your job today you have got an information sheet all about um, the planets and the solar system. Okay, it's called shooting for the stars. You've also got a grid here that you can print off and it's asking you to read through all this information. And then in this column, write the title. Okay, I'll give you that one because that's quite an easy one. So in this column, you would write shooting for the stars because we know that's the title. The next one is called subheadings. So once you've read it, you need to have a look. Which are the subheadings? Can you remember and write all those subheadings here? The next one, subject specific vocabulary. So you're looking for those words that we circled that are to do with the planets and the solar system and space. You can circle them on here before you write them on here. And the last one is you're looking for the contractions. So any words that are contractions like we've been looking for earlier in the week. Have a go and try your best. Well done. Okay, I will speak to you soon. Bye for now.